Hello everyone and welcome back to the Random Pets Laboratory Challenge where we are mixing and matching all sorts of curious creature genes in order to make curious creature crossbreeds. And today friends is a very special day because it's spooky skeleton day. Oh the spooky scary skeletons. Oh my gosh. All right guys well to celebrate the fact that it is actually coming up on Halloween which happens to be my mom's birthday I thought it was time to break out this extremely interesting mix of forensically curious crossbreeds. So it was actually suggested by, I think, Maria Moon or Astra Moon? Astra Moon. I think Astra Moon suggested it a little bit ago that we should actually try crossbreeding not one, but two! Two skeleton dogs! What happens when we make the skeleton dogs is I randomize everything about the dog, the breed they are, what they look like, the coat color, everything about them, the fur type, and then we go ahead and we put on the skeleton. And I don't know what the randomness looks like behind the skeleton custom content or <clears throat> for the immersive role play of it all. And if you're not here for the role play, I don't know why you're here, but I do hope you're having a good time. Uh, we dug up a two different sets of bones and in our eagerness to see what these mysterious subjects once were in real life we are going to extract their dna and we are actually going to try creating some petri dish puppies out of two skeleton dogs which means they are complete mysteries and we're going to try to recreate and maybe try to figure out what types of dogs these are by the puppies that we actually end up having with them. So I, what I really should have done is actually I should have taken a screenshot while I like hadn't changed the name. I covered the name up and then like copy pasted skeleton dog in it. So I truly have no idea what breeds these are. Next time, this is why we have important files friends. Next time I will screenshot the name so I can like reveal it at the end of what the actual breed of the dog is. Is, but we're gonna have just a complete mystery this time and a whole bunch of adorable little puppies a half dozen litter of puppies that we're going to need to raise together in the laboratory lab my friends so all right like actually one of the things I was really intrigued by and kudos to mm, the amazing Kalino for her custom content she makes for the Sims 4 cats and dogs I thought that we would be like oh they're two identical skeletons they're not look you guys so we have one dog skeleton here and this one here, and actually their skulls are different sizes. Their skulls and their body, like the bones of their body are different sizes. And that just stunned me because I thought they would look exactly the same with like the skeletons, but they don't, which is really cool, which means that you can actually have different looking skeletons like roaming around your Sims vampire's house if you want to. Uh, I guess you could like revive like your dog if it passes away of old age, you could say, and now it wanders around as a skeleton. A little morbid, but I'm not going to question it if that's what your Sims are into. But all of that said, let's go ahead and let's start mixing these genetics into the petri dish and see what we actually end up with. Total mysteries on both sides! Oh, and we have named the first skeleton dog Hawk Eagle, and we have named the, skele the second skeleton dog Maria. So let's go ahead and see if we mix Hawk Eagle and Maria's DNA. What about this? It's a total mystery! Alright, and the answer is <gasps> really cute! Do we maybe have some pit bull going on in here? I'm very curious. Oh my gosh. So this is actually going to be Charlie. And Charlie, your comment says, am I the only one who thinks the rain winged dragon kind of looks like the skeleton dog? Hmm. So this was from our other skeleton dog uh, video we did a little bit ago that this comment got randomized from. And I really need to read Wings of Fire at this point because that's half of what you guys talk about in these episodes now. And I definitely need to catch up. So Charlie, you are a couch potato who is adventurous and a sleuth, and I hope that sleuth like trait will actually help us to figure out like what your genetics are, what you're related to, who your parents like are and where they came from. But this is a good first experiment, a good first experiment to go ahead and see if we can make sense of what Hawk Eagle and Maria are. All right, let's go ahead and pull up the next little. Oh, oh, this is a really cool one too. Oh my gosh. Are we gonna get, like have that beautiful brown coat? <gasps> what? What? Okay, I think some of the bones may have been exposed to like radiation or something. Cause welcome to little Bun. And Bun, you're yellow. I don't think there's any natural dog that's yellow, but I did randomize the coat colors too. 
<laughs> so maybe there's a little bit of like radiation or something in the bones that are like popping out. And Bun, you are a smart, stubborn glutton who is really adorable. You have quite the broad face. Oh man. So I feel like we've got broad faces and cute little like smush noses on two of the puppies, but I wonder, oh, we have to have, we need more samples. We need more samples in order to try to guess like what the parents look like. If you would like to become one of these little Petri dish puppies, all you need to do is go ahead and leave a comment down below and the random comment generator just might pick you just like they just picked Linksy Rose. What a lovely name. Linksy Rose, thank you so much for leaving your sweet comment. I'm so glad that that you enjoy our adventures and a ghost and a pumpkin dog. Hmm. We haven't had a ghost dog for quite a while. I could go ahead and add that to the list. I feel like the skeleton dogs are kind of like ghost with materials involved. Uh, like they're, they, they kind of count, don't they? And they add to the mystery. Oh, but you're very pretty, Linksy. I think we have a strong jawed dog somewhere in here. And we have pointy ears and flop ears. So I think one of them, one of the parents definitely has pointy ears and one has flop ears. So we're starting to narrow things down a little bit as we get more of these adorable little Petri dish puppies. Oh, this is so cool. Oh my gosh, we might do more skeleton mixes in the future. Dun, 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 dun. All right, all right, almost there, almost there. Another yellow puppy. Okay, we have definitely had some parents' bones. I, do you think it's Hockey Gold? Do you think it's Maria who have been exposed to like radiation or something and ended up giving us Chloe from Chloe the Wolf, the Wolf Gamer? And Chloe, you are going to be a troublemaker who is adventurous but friendly. So you might cause trouble. Maybe it's that radiation like telling through again, but you are also very adventurous and friendly. And Chloe, you suggest dragon and a warrior cat, a cougar and a moose and a raccoon and a unicorn. Those all sound amazing. I will have to add them to the list, especially the cougar and a moose. That would be a really fun mix. All right. Next little mystery puppy. So I feel... Ooh, and I think Hawk Eagle, I should have done it like half from Hawk Eagle, half from our other parent to actually like get more information. But I think Hawk Eagle actually has maybe this beautiful brown coat. Oh, good, look. And look, when we added Maria's jeans in, that's when we really started to see the ears and that's when we saw the jaw come in. So I think Maria has the smaller jaw that's kind of like a square and the pointy ears. So that's my guess. Maria has the pointy ears, smaller jaw, and Hawk Eagle, I think, has the brown fur or has inherited the brown fur somehow. All right. And this little one is actually going to be Shadow after Shadow Galaxy Wolf and a skeleton dog and a dragon or wolf. Ooh, a skeleton dog and a wolf would be really fun. See, you guys come up with so many great ideas. I'm so happy every time I hit that random like comment button to see what your inspiration is, and stories about your pets, how your day is going. And Shadow, as mysterious of a mix as you are, I don't think you can produce wool or dairy. But you can be a glutton who is aggressive and vocal. So I'll take that. Oh my goodness. All right. Very good. Very good indeed, Shadow. All right. So let's go ahead. And I think one, two, three, four, five. <gasps> this is the last one. Oh, that's right. And let's actually start from Maria this time. So Maria, I think you have the broader jaw and the pointed ears. And as we're... Oh, there we go. Sorry about that, guys. Ooh, yeah, I think Maria does have the pointed ears. Oh, that's such a cute puppy. That is such a cute puppy. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, look, and I think, oh man. Okay, but so does Hawk Eagle have, I think Hawk Eagle has this like pit bullish look to them. And I think Maria has the broader jaw and the pointed ears. This is so fun. It is like a little detective experiment that you have to do as we're like digging into the genes and trying to figure out what's going on. And this is actually going to be a Zig after Zigrid, Zigrid and Nittens, and an Australian Shepherd and a Lion mix. And you could call the puppies slash cubs they have cups. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. And we have had so many requests for doing more Australian Shepherd mixes. So Australian Shepherd and a Lion sound wonderful. All right. And Zigrid, you are going to be a hunter who is adventurous and vocal. Excellent. All right, so here's our mystery puppies, guys. 
I think it's safe to say that one of the dogs is definitely yellow. One of the dogs has pointy ears and one of the dogs I think has floppy ears. And one of the dogs I think has a curly tail and one of the dogs has a down tail. So let's go ahead and see what the puppies look like and then we will reveal what the skeleton dogs are. Oh, I love the mystery of it. <gasps> okay, all right. I literally have no idea. Charlie, that didn't that didn't really help me like to narrow down what breeds you these two might be. I definitely need to actually like remember to screenshot the name of the breeds before I go ahead and do these mixes because now it's lost to the sands of time. Uh, but Charlie, you're fluffy, fluffy and very muscular. Oh, I wonder which parent that came from. Bun. <gasps> oh, look at Bun's fur. Wow. Okay, I think we we have. Yeah, we've got a more pointy snout on one dog, definitely down ears on one dog, a huge snoz on one, and tiny eyes. Oh, I'm so curious about this mix now. And Maria, like, look at her, her bun, look at the bun's beautiful coloring here. Like, one of these dogs possibly passed away, like, next to some sort of secret lab and ended up being infused with all sorts of interesting, interesting material that changed their genes and made the fur yellow. Hmm, Lynxy Rose. <gasps> Lynxy Rose! Whoa, look at that big face! Oh, she looks like like almost like a gigantic wolf. Look at the size of that face! Oh, look at that beautiful muzzle! What a gorgeous profile! Mystery unto mystery. And I don't think we actually have dragon tails on any of the dogs. Uh, so I'll randomize until there we go. We get normal tails. Because I'm pretty sure these are these were both meant to be just normal dog genes, but the dragon tail for some reason is just exceptionally aggressive about like showing up. Must be floating in the air. Chloe, you're next. Are you gonna help us unravel this mystery? Okay, we have the broad face again, and we've got the tiny eyes. So one of these dogs has really small eyes, and that broad forehead. And we have this very beautiful fur type that's showing up more and more. So I think one of the parents has that fur type. Shadow, are you ready? Oh, I love the brown coloring on this puppers. <gasps> Shadow, wow! Oh, Shadow, you look like you just absolutely are supposed to be sitting in a manor somewhere next to like a fire that's crackling and somebody's wearing like some sort of beautiful plaid thing. Oh my gosh, and like having high tea. Shadow, you're beautiful! So I do think one of the parents absolutely has this fur type. And now we have normal sized eyes. The ears are up. Oh, I'm so curious to see like which parent caused what to be inherited. And then finally, Zigrid. Okay, definitely narrowing down that there is, oh, look at the different muzzles though. Like that, like look at that. There's two hugely different faces here. What? Oh, I'm so curious to see like how the, the parents turned out. But Zigrid, you're absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. Well, we've gathered all of the data that we can to try to understand like what genetics the dogs are carrying. We'll look deeper into the parents' genetics in just a, a moment here. Like Lindsay Rose, Lynxy Rose here, really makes me confused for the muzzle, but I think it's just an extension of the same kind of muzzle Shadow got that somehow just like mixed together to become huge. So let's do this. All right, Hockey Eagle, we have now compiled the data gathered from breeding up all those puppies, and we're going to see what does Hawk Eagle actually look like now that we like reverse compile the genes. <gasps> Hawk Eagle, look at you. I think we might have like an Irish setter here, you guys. What do you guys think? I think that's what we got. We randomized the coat colors, but I only randomized like normal breeds. So I'm pretty sure we ended up with like an Irish setter. Let's see. Yeah, look at that! It's a match! Almost, almost. So we ended up maybe with like a setter of some type. So that makes me really happy. Maybe English? <gasps> no, but I want an English setter crossbreed. Look at those spots. Okay, so maybe not, but I think we're very close. Oh, that's so cool. And I think that means Maria. Maria is the one who's, no, 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 don't delete. Maria is the one who, yes! Oh my gosh, Maria, like, oh, what are you doing? Why do you have, 
Why do you have yellow on you? And what mix are you? Because Maria is meant to be a like pure breed, but I did randomize the fur type as well. So if we randomize the fur a little bit, does that help us at all figure out the mystery of Maria? Not really, not really at all. But there we go, you guys. That was so much fun. Next time, I absolutely will take a screenshot of the breed name before we do this so that that way we can have a grand reveal of like what the actual breeds were supposed to be. But that was amazing. I loved that. We are absolutely doing that like regularly because I love the mystery of it all and it plays beautifully to the randomness of the Random Pets Laboratory Challenge. And thank you because that's from your guys' suggestions, which just goes to show how much you have to add to our adventure. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for our curious crossbreeds, this time a double dose of skeleton dogs. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!